Elon Musk and Twitter are squaring off in a Delaware court today over the billionaire's attempt to walk away from their $44 billion merger agreement. Yahoo Finance's Alexis Keenan has been listening in this afternoon. You just hung up the phone to hop on set yeah. here. What are we learning? Okay, there's a lot here. There's a ton of motions that both sides are going through. Both Musk's attorneys and Twitter's attorneys, they have both brought these battles to the courtroom today. So here are the categories that they're arguing about. One is Musk's request to add to his counterclaim those whistleblower claims that were made by Peter Zatko, Twitter's former head of security. Next is... A tw Musk's request to have Twitter hand over more of its emails and slacks from its internal communications. Musk is saying that Twitter hasn't handed over all of those communications, and so the parties are fighting about that. Also, Twi uh, Twitter is requesting emails from Musk's SpaceX account. They want his internal communications from there. His attorneys say no. Musk has an expectation of privacy to those emails and they don't want to hand them over. Next is Musk has a request to get more of that spam and bot data. What he wants is to broaden that request. The judge already offered Musk and his attorneys information on the 9,000 accounts that Twitter normally monitors, but it's limited in time. And what Musk wants is for that time period to go back all the way to 2021. Next is a trial delay. Musk wants the trial pushed into November. Uh, of course, Twitter's attorneys pushing back on that, saying, no, nope, we want to go on October 17th, the date the trial is set. Also, Twitter asking for sanctions against Musk, saying that uh, there are texts that he hasn't turned over. They suspect, they don't know. They say, look, the most interesting documents are the text, the text messages between Musk and his bankers and Musk and his advisors, and one of which you just mentioned earlier before the break. It's astounding to think that they're going to, at some point on October 17th, wrap all this up in five days.